Greetings YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to use the hedge apple and bentonite clay. Alright, we're going to get started. Today I'm going to show you how to use bentonite clay, which we call miracle clay. And there's a very good reason why we call that miracle clay. Um, bentonite clay is a volcanic ash. Um, they got the name from uh, Fort Benton in Wyoming. Um, where you can find it in abundance and um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's just a, a clay. It's just a, um, a gray kind of um, powdery substance. Volcanic ash guys and um, it is amazing stuff and I'm going to tell you also why I'm showing you the hedge apple which comes from the Osage orange tree. Uh, my children seem to call it monkey brains. You can see why. It's all um, kind of, uh, oh I don't know, it's lumpy and uh, has all kinds of little things on it. Um, anyway, the reason we call it Miracle Clay is years ago our daughter, uh, Brittany, our oldest daughter, got bit by a uh, brown recluse. And if any of you know anything about brown recluse, it is a flesh-eating spider. She got bit on her leg three times the same leg by the same spider. And it hurt so bad because it's flesh-eating. And literally the holes were this big on her leg and so we went to our naturopathic doctor because usually when you get bit by a brown recluse you end up in the hospital and it's just not a good thing so we went to her and she recommended that we start with bentonite clay we made a paste out of it I'm going to kind of show you how that's done we put just a little bit we use a plastic spoon we don't let any metal touch it um, because it pulls toxins and then I'm going to add a little bit of water. You don't need a whole lot, but it requires quite a bit of mixing. And so what we did was we made this clay, and I'll show it to you. I'm going to mix it, and it gets real sticky and sticks to things. Okay, kind of like so. And so we started to apply that I'm going to show you how it's just a gray. We started to apply that to her skin um, and within minutes of putting this bentonite clay on those open sores, the pain was gone. I mean literally, that pain is so bad when it's eating the flesh, it hurts so bad. And I know because I got one on my neck. But anyway, so we started to put that on there and three days later guys, I'm not kidding, it was gone, there was no scarring, it was simply amazing. And then um, Jean, my husband, worked with a lady who got bit shortly after that, and um, she ended up in the hospital. It ate away at her leg. She was there for three months and they kept cutting away at it, cutting away at it, trying to get that to heal. And it's amazing, guys. People don't want to hear about it, but this stuff is amazing. People just automatically think they're going to run to the doctor for everything and they're going to help them. Well, she was there for three months and she has a huge scar in her leg where they cut away the flesh and that's never going to go away. This here, three days, guys, and it was gone. So shortly after that happened, the brown recluse spiders are big in Missouri. Um, I got bit on my neck and I could tell that's what it was because the pain is so horrible. You can just feel it just hurts so bad. So the first thing I did was I put the Miracle Clay on there. Within seconds, guys, that pain was gone. And so um, I continued to put that on there. It never scarred, gone. And same thing with we've had friends and we've been able to help them with it. Uh, my husband, Gene, got one above his eye, which was really scary because it was right on his eyelid. And he didn't think it was a spider bite, so he kind of let it go for a few days. It was bad. He ended up having to be on antibiotics. I wish he had listened right away, but he did end up putting that on there, no scar, and it was gone. They were just worried because it was so close to the eye that it might get infected, but I think the bentonite clay would have done it without the antibiotics because we are not for antibiotics. But anyway, um, so this is such good stuff, and you can take it internally. It pulls toxins out of the body. I want to tell you a couple other things that it's good for, and I wrote those down because I know I forget. Um, it relieves constipation and diarrhea. 
it's good for diaper rash. If babies have a diaper rash or you have any kind of skin chafing or whatever, you can put that on there, make it into this little paste here, smear it on the baby's diaper area, and the diaper rash will be gone. And it pulls toxins out of the body, so you can use it as a facial. You put that on your face, leave it for about 20 minutes, it starts to crack and feel really weird, guys. But um, you wash it out off after 20 minutes, and it has pulled all those toxins out of the face. It is simply amazing. Um, it's good for uh, cholesterol. Poison Ivy, guys, I make a Poison Ivy cream, which I'm gonna do another video on that, and show you the Poison Ivy cream that I use with some different essential oils, because my boys, um, I've got one that's a Poison Ivy magnet. He just comes near it and gets Poison Ivy, and the bentonite clay will pull that, along with the essential oils, out of the skin and be gone. So I wanted to share with you about the hedge apple or monkey brain as my children call it. <laughs> anyway, this um, grows all over Missouri. I think it grows in different other states as well in the surrounding areas here, but in California we've never seen these. Well the reason I want to share this with you is you put these in the corners of your room and it actually has the spiders just it repels spiders. So we, since um, brown recluse are a big thing here in Missouri, um, we keep these in the corners of our house, kind of hidden, um, just on maybe a piece of plastic. You don't want to put it on a paper plate because then the spiders can't get up because of the edges being kind of curled. Um, but just leaving it like this, it will start to turn black and maybe, you know, uh, ruin the carpet. So if you put a little piece of um, foil maybe, we don't use foil, but maybe plastic wrap or something, and stick it in the corners of each room. It actually keeps the spiders away. We have not had spiders um, in years. When my husband and I both had gotten bit, um, that was during, it was years and years ago, um, we decided we were gonna do this. And since then, we keep them around and we do not see spiders at all. So I would recommend, if you can get these, um, to put these in the corners of your home uh, just to keep the spiders away and um, you know that is a great way besides you know there are different essential oils as well that you can use um, you can use let me see here lemon I wrote this down peppermint and lemon oil and chestnuts believe it or not are also things that help repel spiders if you can't get the hedge apples but um, a brown recluse is also called a fiddleback and it has a little um, looks like a little fiddle on its back and um, they are very very serious and you hear about it all the time people getting bit they end up in the hospital and I wish I could just tell them bentonite clay is all you need but um, in order to take the bentonite clay internally you would take one teaspoon to six to eight ounces of water and you would just drink that on like an empty stomach uh, it doesn't taste bad, it's just a clay, you know, kind of like dirt tasting. I think when we were kids, for some reason, dirt used to taste really good. I think it was the minerals that our body needed. And it's so funny because I have one son, Clayton is the same one that has uh, poison ivy. He craves this and loves it. And I think it's the high minerals in there that his body needs. It has um, magnesium in it and it has iron. So maybe I think at the time when he was really um, craving that, he was lacking those minerals. So you can take this once a day. Um, the best way to do it is to take um, a glass of water and then take your teaspoon and put it in the water and let it dissolve itself because it tends to be really sticky and stick to the spoon. But if you let it dissolve within five minutes, it's completely dissolved and you stir it and you can just drink it. It's amazing stuff, guys. I cannot say enough good about the bentonite clay and that's why we call it miracle clay. And we have actually sold this Miracle Clay in masks and stuff at Baker Creek, and it has gone crazy. We've gotten um, testimonies back from people saying how wonderful it is. It can be put in deodorant. It can be put in soaps. It is just good, good stuff. Get a food grade. Um, you can order it online. And then, of course, the, the hedge apples. Um, good, good stuff. And I think that if you can't get these, there's essential oils and, like I said, chestnuts that you can use. But if you can get these guys, use them. They're so good. But anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit with you um, my passion for uh, all things natural. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you any kind of medical advice. I'm just saying some of these things have worked for us. 
and I hope that maybe you can give them a try, maybe they'll work for you. If so, let me know, I'd love to hear. But anyway, um, I hope you like what you saw. I hope this works for you, give it a try. Um, and until next time, God bless you. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention is I got stung by a wasp the other day, guys, on my arm. I've only been stung once before and it was all right. I didn't have a problem with it. This was a red wasp and I really didn't even know I'd been stung. Just something dropped on my arm and then coming back up to the house, I noticed it started to hurt really bad. So I went ahead and put um, baking soda on there for just a little while and it took the pain out right away. Well, I washed that off not thinking. Well, the next day, lo and behold, I had a spot on my arm this big and it was bright red and it started to itch like crazy. And I thought, well, usually itching means it's getting better, but it did, was not getting any better. So I made the bentonite clay and I slathered that on there because it was really starting to spread. So apparently I must be allergic to uh, bee stings or wasp stings. So anyway, I packed that on there and I kept that on there for a couple of days. Well, as you can tell, it has gotten so much smaller. It is almost gone. So there again, bentonite clay, guys, if you get stung by something, um, if you have any kind of infection, one of our sons got um, kicked by a friend with his dirty toenail one time, woke up in the morning with a huge infection on his knee. The first thing we did was pack it with bentonite clay. Within minutes, that redness and the infection was gone. So I cannot say enough good guys, try the bentonite clay.